details emerging about a video that shows a San Diego police dog. This is that confrontation right there, biting a man and not letting go after he was handcuffs, handcuffed rather, that dog let go 30 seconds later. Today, his lawyer announced that he plans to take action. And our 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live at the canine training quarters. And Steve, we're getting a better idea of this man's injuries, correct? We are, and also their complaints. They're complaining about questioning the department's use of force, its handling of people with mental health problems, and also asking again for video from those body-worn cameras. Why can't you call him off? We see and hear Karan Cheatham writhing in pain as a police dog held him for officers while they handcuffed the man who had been acting bizarrely, threatening people in traffic downtown early last week. Cheatham's attorney said he's planning to sue for excessive force. Um, I, I, I just saw him and his arm is probably about three size, three times the size of his, of his normal arm. And he has a, a bunch of puncture wounds throughout the arm, which tells me that I believe the dog bit more than once. The police dogs are trained in a bite and hold technique, which Cheatham's attorney says was not ended effectively, nor in time to prevent additional harm. The National Action Network wants the dog suspended from active duty, and it wants a meeting with Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman. If it was pushed further, if the line was pushed further, then something really bad could happen based upon the dog not obeying a command. That is the point that's got to be raised. San Diego Police responded to questions raised about this last week, saying the officer and dog are not to blame. So if it's one second, five seconds, or 15 seconds, if the dog is biting and holding like he's trained to do, then the, the injuries that are inflicted immediately are no different 15 seconds later. Cheatham's in jail charged with robbery, making death threats, vandalism, theft, and obstructing arrest. The lawsuit won't be filed for several months, they tell us, until the criminal case has been resolved. At 7 o'clock, the city council president weighs in. Live in central San Diego, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.